Okay, just playing a 45 minute game, zero increment. And just uh, develop the night defending here. It's a bit of a situation, but I'm gonna go for it. Let's go here. Okay, so we could take, but I think I'll castle first because this pawn is just gonna drop down onto my knight, causing us some trouble. So we may just leave it like that for a time. So what do we have? Um, capturing bishop takes or capturing knight comes down. I don't really like them at all, so I think I'm actually going to bring this bishop here. Intention of taking the knight off the board actually. Or maybe not, don't know, let me see. Yeah, intention of taking the knight off the board. Let's just bring the rook across. Does he come past or does he take? Could develop the bishop. And then when we take, then we've got a bit more weight to this. Let's just bring this bishop here. Because the concern was this winning this thing and this pawn pushing here and it, it wins them a bit of tempo. Now he's wanting to get rid of our knight, which is going to help us here. Mm, okay, so if we did take, still drops down. Take, still drops down. We take, queen takes. There, then it opens up our pawn here. So it's not too bad. It's just a matter of doubling the pawn in front of the king. And we don't really have an issue with that. But is there something better? Is there another tunnel vision that we can think about? Maybe just attack the bishop and see what he wants to do. It's going to take. Does take. Bishop takes. Right, okay. Let's tunnel on this one. Yeah, okay, so let's, um, okay, yeah, so if he does take, bishop can still take, or he might just push past. Looks like he's got a bit of cleverness because he's kept this focus on this pawn here. Unless, of course, I'm talking about something that they don't even care about. Oh, he's actually gone for it, okay, so we're comfortable-ish. Cheapy. Obviously, that's not going to work, but, you know, it's an idea. Might just push on. Do we take? Just take the knight. He does push. Just take the knight then. Yeah. Take bishops here. Got a nice angle onto our knight and then he's through our pawn. Do I really want to give him them sort of things or do we just come here with the bishop? Come here with the bishop, then he's going to be pushing on to our knight. This is what we wanted to avoid all along, all the way through this game. Um, we've got a two on one. Knight can take, but his knight can take his queens on there. Uh, take bishops on. But then we do have a two on one here. But then he gets the pawn back anyway with this bishop coming here. Okay, let's take. Take with the queen or the knight. Take with the knight. No, take, I'm taking with the queen, I think, into exchange off. He does get the pawn. So he's going to be plus one, isn't he? Do I really want to give that up? I don't think I've got much choice. Unless, of course, I get a little momentary check here. Then his queen has to take the pawn, um, rook. That's another tunnel vision, isn't it? So the bishop takes, rook takes, queen takes. Does the queen take? 
Well, no, not really. Still getting the pawn anyway, isn't it? Still getting the pawn with the bishop. Bishop takes, rook takes with a check. Or do we do the rook takes with a check after this stuff? So, queen. Maybe the queen takes, knight takes. Bish still gets it. Rook check. Queen goes here. Even if we take here, still takes, gets the pawn up. Mm, let me see again, let me see again. I think I'm taking the rook. I think I'm taking the rook, it's a check on the king. See how it looks from there. I don't really want to sit and babysit this pawn. Oh, I've actually played this player before. Oh, they played a stonking game. Oh, damn it. <laughs> right, okay. Right, so we've got this pawn, they've got our pawn. So it would be a pawn each. His bishop will be on our rook. So our rook comes here. Then we can start looking to have some activity with our queen. Targeting this pawn here as well. Obviously the queen is defending. But the queen can come down and put a check on. Okay, let's... Uh, No, the bishop won't be there, will it? Because we'll take it back with the pawn. So if we went here and attacked his bishop, if they didn't do anything, then we'd get a fork here. So I'm actually going with that. If the bishop rushes to take this pawn, we get a fork here. Obviously, that's a bit obvious, so that's not going to happen. So we'll get the bishop off the board, doubling their pawns. Oh, maybe it works, I don't know. Do we, has he got a check on my... Oh, he's got my rook though, hasn't he? He's got my rook. Damn it. So if we go there... Uh, he moves the queen to attack the knight. Then we take... This queen goes across, maybe. No, it doesn't. Takes there first. Oh, that's not good, is it? go with the fork see what he does do have a fork ourselves two pieces on one don't think that makes much difference does it might do bishop takes knight takes no it's even stevens in it mm, 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 mm. bit of a tough one so they're probably working out does my knight get trapped in there because he's got the power of the bishop so let's work it through takes we take with the queen maybe because then obviously then the queen takes then the knight takes so then the knight's here then his bishop is going to be trying to block us aren't they so we'll come back somehow. Maybe to here. I need to get it out. So I need to jump here to get out of the line of fire. Yeah, because I can't come back here to attack this pawn. So I'd have to come here. Then his king starts getting active. Yeah, I don't know. This is one of those weird ones where I think he's just going to end up trapping my knight, so I need to be boxing a bit clever. This is a big thing. Oh, he's, going, he's going for it, he's going for it now. Does anything change? My tunnel vision was just taking the rook. I did think he was going to take the rook first, though, so take I'm 
fat night take if you don't wear them apples and then he goes bishop take I don't think that works, you know. I think he's worked out that my knight is going to get trapped somehow. Queen takes. Queen knight is here. Bishop takes. Actually, no, it's going to be... Well, okay. I think he might be down the tempo, so I might be able to escape the knight. Yeah, so then he takes, and now we kind of come and attack the pawn, but obviously it can move. That's the only attack I've got, I ain't got anything else. I'll be making his pawns move further down the board, won't I? Now his bishop can come and defend. No, it doesn't. Um, up. Back. Down. Move the king. Actually, I need to move it off there. He's just going to jam me in gonna jam me in so I need to move. Yeah I'll start moving the king. Tempting to go there, but he's not wanting because we'll get a fork here and get the pawn. But is that good enough? Because, yeah, if we go there, he can always just come back and defend, and that's not a good position for the knight, is it? That's not a good position for the knight. I'm cool, still, it's not good either way for going here. Then I've got no out. I'm probably safer coming over here, aren't I? Yeah. Don't really want to put this on a white square, but I might have to just to jam the bishop out of the way. But then the knight has to stay there babysitting. And I'm making block it himself. What if they take a draw? <laughs> nope, maybe not. Okay, let's attack this bishop and the pawn. Uh, maybe he didn't see the draw offer, but I can't offer it again. Okay, so this coming down, then my knight is can come back here. King up. Bishop needs to protect the pawn or something. I don't think there is this there. So it's probably just going to attack our knight. Then we move, and then the bishop protects the pawn. Damn, too clever for me. Yeah. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, too clever for me. See, so if we come down and then come across, then we can attack it twice. Empty, yeah. That's why I didn't take a draw. Oh, that's why I didn't take a draw. Damn, peeling off pieces. Okay, well, let's try and get over here. Get this pawn. So it's got a majority on this side now. Let's go here, grab this. Oh, his bishop's got that square. 
let's go here it's got that square time Should have just accepted the draw. Damn. Oh, that was really interesting. That was very good. The power of the pawns and changing our tunnel vision as well in the game. That was really quite interesting. <laughs> 